barely driven the boring symbol that she came here to implore me not to, not to spoil her chances with the guy and to let her see him in my bedroom. I refused, of course, but she persuaded me. I felt so sorry for her, don't you see? She sent me out to get him. And a bit of, <laughs> a little bit of that, <laughs> yeah. And this is slow. Yes. <laughs> You know, it's, it's almost like, yeah, that's right. And, the, and there, watch out for your legs. Got a bit, yeah. wasn't it? Your legs yeah, were a bit, yeah. got a bit funny. Yeah. Um, high Time, a comedy that. by Derek Mahan, is the work in uh, rehearsal. Hearing, hearing and indeed, a high time it is for the company yeah. of nine actors taking part you not only in this, but also in the other one act, A Tragedy by Tom Paulin. Veronica Quilligan and Stephen Ray play the lead. I refused, of course. But she persuaded me. I felt so sorry for her, don't you see? She sent me out to get him. God, above what a performance. Stephen also directs the tragedy, and as a founder member of Field Day with Brian Friel, is clearly very pleased with the plays. Well, I think they very much fit in with uh, a notion we have, which is to um, take international plays uh, in foreign languages and translate them freshly for Irish audiences. We started that with uh, a translation of Three Sisters, the Chekhov play, which Brian did a couple of years ago. And it was very successful around the country. And I think people had uh, a sense that they experienced the play maybe for the first time, you know, through a, a, an Irish understanding of it. And so this time we've moved on. We've taken a tragedy and a comedy and we've uh, their verse plays. And we've got two of our major poets to translate them, uh, Derek Mahan and Tom Paulin. And they're, they're both written in very immediate, direct language that I think is accessible to everybody, particularly in the North, maybe, but uh, accessible to everybody in Ireland, I think. And uh, it, I think it makes for a very exciting evening. The comedy is Derek Mahan's version of the Molière play, The School for Husbands. Yeah, it's a Molière play, and it's, we're, we're having it directed by two friends of mine, uh, Mark Long and Emile Wallach, who work with the People's Show in London, and they work with a very kind of uh, crazy uh, improvisational style, which is how we feel Molière would have uh, done it in his day. So, although it, it is set in the present day, uh, it's, uh, I think it's quite faithful to the, the way he would have done it, you know, very, uh, you know, full of invention and colour and brightness. You know. Tom Paulin's riot act is the tragic Greek tale of Antigone and her fight against a repressive establishment. It's, it's about notions of what an individual does in relation to uh, edicts of a state, how... how the state can repress certain areas for the individual and how uh, the individual, what steps the individual takes to kind of uh, combat that. With particular relevance to Northern Ireland? Um, there's no question that the play is a Greek play and the characters are still called Antigone, Creon, Tiresias. Um, it's done, it's spoken in language which is current in the north of Ireland, so it's obvious resonance for for people in this island uh, is apparent, but uh, we haven't said it in the north of Ireland because I think that would be kind of crude, you know. But uh, there's no question that the play has a, a modern uh, relevance to probably any country. So you're going on tour with these plays? Yeah, mad tour. <laughs> Galway one night then, Ballycastle the next and uh, back again to Limerick, but um, we're going to lots of uh, places in both North and the South, and it's going to be great.